the most people associate this town with its fate during the Croatian War of Independence. However, the present-day Vukovar offers a lot more to its visitors. If you'd like to get to know it better, stay tuned and take this video tour. My name is Tomislav. I'm a tour guide and I'm going to show you 10 attractions of this historic town on the Danube. Most people visit Vukovar to commemorate the victims from 1991, when the fiercest battle in the Croatian War of Independence took place here. The most visited war memorials are War Victims Memorial Cemetery Two memorials at Ovčara The Museum Vukovar Hospital 1991 and the Memorial Hall on Trpinska Road, which was nicknamed the Tank Graveyard during the three-month siege. To understand the town's present, you should be aware that in 1991 the entire Vukovar looked like this. With time, the most of the buildings have been rebuilt, but when it comes to its citizens, the war left a scar which still hasn't healed. This is why I'm leaving the war memorials out of the category on the sightseeing list. I simply find it inappropriate to rate the places of human suffering. There are dozens of YouTube videos where you can learn about the siege and we are going to focus on the present more and start to explore 10 sites which are worth visiting while in Vukovar. At number 10, there is a place offering a pleasant break from the heat, Adica Park Forest. It is surrounded by the Vuka River. The citizens of Vukovar usually come here to relax, stroll or exercise. There are also a restaurant, rooms for accommodation and St. Petka Orthodox Church dating back to the 19th century. The name of this park forest, Adica, actually means little island. And now I'm about to take you to just island. The island stands for Vukovarska Ada, which is located on the mighty Danube. It gets really lively during the summer months, mostly due to its sandy beach, which offers a wonderful view of the town. The local fishermen take care of the island's cleanliness, as well as of the boat transportation departing from the town center. The island is one of the locations of the popular Vukovar Film Festival, which is held in summer. Its main appeal lies in outdoor film screenings, which take place at a variety of surroundings. The festival especially attracts the fans of European cinema, but only the films from the Danube countries get to compete. In addition to film screenings, the organizers host other events on this occasion, for instance workshops, concerts and after parties. At number 7 of our list is the Franciscan Monastery and the adjacent Church of Saints Philip and James. The Franciscan complex dates back to the 18th century and it is situated on a hill overlooking the Danube and the town center. The monastery possesses a valuable museum collection and it's also possible to arrange guided tours for groups of tourists. 
If you decide to take a break from the sightseeing, probably the best place for relaxation is the Danube waterfront. Along a lovely promenade, you can pass by the town marina, the confluence of the Vuka River, after which the town was named, and the monumental cross commemorating the victims of the war. The cross was carved out of stone from the Croatian regions of Istria and Dalmatia, and in such way it symbolizes the Croatian unity. Make sure to continue your tour through the old town core. This line of buildings with typical Baroque arches happens to be the oldest in the town. Not far from here, the pedestrianized area begins, where you can find plenty of cafes, open terraces and souvenir shops. Probably the most famous souvenir from Vukovar is the Vuchadol Dove, a 5,000-year-old ritual vessel found at the location we are about to visit next. It is an archaeological site called Vucedol. The site is located about 5 kilometers downstream from Vukovar, and its most prominent feature is the Museum of Vucedol Culture. This museum will tell you a story of the civilization which used to thrive here during the Copper and the Bronze Age. The next attraction will especially appeal to all those who are interested in contemporary art. These are the murals and the 3D paintings which are scattered all over the town. They are the outcome of the Vukovart project, which brought several world-famous artists here. Their mission was to embellish the town's visual identity. Thanks to them, if you look closely enough, you can expect pleasant surprises on the town's sidewalks, bridges and the walls of apartment buildings. At number two of this list, there is the Elts Palace. Up to 1945, this entire estate used to belong to the noble family Elts, who were of German origin. Nowadays, the palace houses the town museum, whose collections give an overview of the town's rich and often turbulent history. Occasionally, if the timing is right, you can even enjoy in cultural events on the premises. Just before the end, after you've become familiar with the most of the town's landmarks, it's time to look at them from another perspective, from above. Number one of our list is reserved for one of the best recognized symbols of the town, the water tower. It's 50 meters tall and it was recently reconstructed. Despite being damaged with more than 600 missiles during the siege, it hasn't collapsed, but rather turned into a symbol of resistance. Today, the water tower serves as a viewpoint and a memorial. Its structure was deliberately preserved with bullet holes, as a reminder of the tragic events from 1991. Just like the town itself, in spite of the damage and the scars, the tower is still standing proudly, as if making a promise of a brighter future for the citizens of Vukovar. <laughs> 